Hi, in this problem you see that we have to find that uh, the cases where the given equation has no real roots. So the roots, the nature of the roots depends on the discriminant. So we have to calculate the discriminant. What is the discriminant? Discriminant is actually b square minus 4cs. So let's calculate the discriminant, right? So uh, let's do that. So here, the, if I consider that discriminant d, so here the discriminant of this given equation will be minus uh, b, uh, minus b square and 4c right so b square minus 4c that need to be calculated so what is b here you can see b is equal to minus 2 1 plus 3m so therefore we'll say that it is actually 4 1 plus 3m whole square so that is b square now minus 4 into ca so here we can see that it is actually 4 into c that is minus 4 into 1 plus 8m and we are required to multiply it by that a, a is 1 plus m square. So that's it. So that's complete the discriminant. Now we have to minimize this, right? We have to simplify it so that we can calculate that it is greater than 0, less than 0, apply that all those concepts. So let's go ahead. So here we calculate or take common 4 and we expand it. So therefore it is 1 plus 9m square plus uh, 6m minus 1 minus 8 m cube and then we have plus m square that need to be changed by minus 1 and then we have minus 8 m so that's it so that's obviously the multiplication only this sign will be replaced by minus 1 so see that this product we obtain now obviously we need to simplify it right so always whenever you see that right whenever it is 1 plus 8 m 1 plus m square right sometime multiplication is not uh, that easy right because we don't have that tendency so sometime we can replace it like m square plus 1 8 m plus 1 we'll see that that calculation will be very easy okay so that's it now we have to go ahead and simplify that so let's go ahead for obviously that 8 a minus 8 m cube will come then we have uh, uh, plus 8 m square and we have minus 2 m that's it now we'll see that we can easily take minus m common so if i take minus m common it will be 8 m square plus 8 m plus 2 and the sign 8m will be minus 1. So again, you can see that we can take common of 2. So it's became is that minus 8m, 4m square minus 2m plus 1. That's it. So that is the possibility of the factorization. Now see that. Uh, can we rewrite that in some form? Yes, you can see that. So here, uh, we can easily say this equation or the resultant form can now able to rewrite as in this form. This is 2 definitely is equal to 8m. This is 2m minus 1 whole square plus 1. Now, why we write down in this form? <clears throat> it's simply because if we write down that, we cannot make a conclusion from here. But from this line, 2m minus 1 whole square plus 1, we can easily see that that is greater than 1, right? Because some square term plus 1. So it is always greater than 1. So therefore, it is never possible that it is equal to 0. Okay. So now they see that no roots, no real roots, sorry. So no real roots are for complex root. It is obviously d is less than 0 that imply that minus 8m and 2m minus 1 whole square plus 1 is actually less than 0. Now as this product is not equal to 0 we can say that m is greater than 0. So now if m is greater than 0 definitely the given equation has no real roots. So how many m greater than 0 is possible? Obviously it's an infinite number of times. So that's why for this particular problem the right option is infinitely many m is possible so that so that we'll have no real roots. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.